Singapore is set to register its first four bulk carriers that use ammonia as marine fuel around the year 2026. And the ships will be among the first in the world to set sail with this alternative fuel, which will still use some amount of diesel to burn. The global maritime industry has set net zero targets for 2050. It's also looking to provide refueling services to ships that use low carbon fuels like ammonia and methanol. Last month, the country played host to the world's first trial of ammonia refueling. The demonstration vessel, the Fortescue Green Pioneer, will continue to test the use of liquid ammonia over the next few weeks. By creating the capability to have that type of engine and systems on board the vessel, we are then triggering the capability of shipyards in the world to build those ammonia fueled ships. In which you're going to see a ramp up of ammonia capable vessels hitting the market. Not only ammonia capable vessels supplying, say, container ships or car carriers or tankers and so forth, but also, of course, the ammonia carriers, which will bring the molecules, the ammonia, from those sources of production in Australia and South America, Middle East and elsewhere.